What about Boo Boo's fight? You you had a great fight with him in the amateurs, right? Yeah, were well, y'all just talking about that? We were. You had two great fights with Boo Boo in the amateurs. Did you go two and oh? Huh? Did you go two and oh? Heck no. One, one, and one and one. Okay. okay. I went one on one. And um, I was blessed to be in the ring with him. So blessed that uh, it took me. The first time we fought, we were 16. And uh, the next time we fought, we were. I, I know I was 18. I don't know if he was 18 yet, but. Um, it took me all the way to we were about in, in the Olympic year, 2008. It took me all that time to really realize how blessed I was to have created a bond and, and a friendship and, and been in the ring with him. Um, for me, I never, that's, I really don't talk about too many fights in general, but that's a fight that I never talk about unless anyone fights, that I never talk about unless anyone brings up. And there's no hard feelings or anything like that at all. It's just that I, him and I, the, the, our fights, were spectacular. You could have paid to see our fights. There were there were too many rounds, and there were four and there were four rounds. But they were the best rounds that you could ever see in in an amateur boxing ring, match, in an amateur boxing ranks. And uh, and it, it's definitely something that when I look back on, I'm just always like, wow, I can't believe I fought him, you know. And um, all the best to him on my birthday. I'll be in I'll be in attendance. How how good is he? I mean, cause he's had. You gonna find out. Yeah. You're gonna well, find you out. tell me. You are in the, You're going to find out. The, the most underrated fighter in the world. And I've been saying that for a couple of years now. And it's not no fault of his own. But his time has come. This is a guy, you talk about me always being being ready for any challenge, always getting in the ring, doing what I, what I have to do to win. Exact same guy. Just haven't seen it. You haven't had the opportunity to see it. When he gets in the ring, he's going to figure out how to beat you. And that's what makes him so great. Is he's not like me. He's not coming at you, coming at you, coming at you, breaking you down, so on and so forth. He has it all. He has boxing ability. He has punching power. He has his ring IQ. He has that southpaw stance, counter punching ability, and the list goes on. And you're gonna see it October 20th. You don't think Ring Rust will, nope. will knock him off his game? Nope. Not, no. He's he's one of those athletes that can just do it. And then what do you think about Billy Joe Saunders though? I mean, do, do you think he's gonna make? It? Obviously, you got Boo Boo winning. Yeah, I got Boo Boo winning, but it's gonna be a fight. Okay. It's gonna be a fight. Um, he's bringing that that English warrior spirit over here. Gypsy style. <laughs> He's bringing that over here, man. Yeah. It's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be a great night. Do you like his, his trash talk? <laughs> it's funny. It's entertaining, and that's what it's supposed to do. You know, um, that's it. You know, I don't do too much of that. But do you like trash talk and boxing? Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah. I, even my lady, uh, who had her boo boo's name, but wasn't crazy familiar with him. Um, we said that we laid in the bed one day, just watching videos of him talk oh. his stuff. That's my boy. And when he talked that stuff, he get going. It's the best. Yeah. So you're gonna be there for that fight? Oh yeah, I will be there. You gotta know. I know you asked me that. I yeah. already said it, but you asked me that so I could say it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be there. Yeah. We'll October be there 20th. too. We'll yep. be there too, man. I'll Boston. There. I've never been to Boston. Uh, me neither, man. Yeah. But we'll see it. Well, I'm a Yankees fan, so I don't uh, I usually don't like Boston. Yeah. Though, you know. Yeah. But, I get it. I get it. But okay, it's kind of like the you know I don't know who who does Cleveland hate? Uh, it's kind of like going to Pittsburgh. Okay. I, I I don't go to Pittsburgh. I don't want to go to Pittsburgh. You don't wear black and gold ever? <laughs> no. no. no I, did, I did it in the fight. And everybody's like black and gold, black and yellow. I'm like, it's just the color I chose. And I never did it again. <laughs> now that you guys pointed it out. Yeah, yeah. never did it again.